Today we are looking at Lido eRoot Manual version 4.3.1. For the next couple of minutes, we will walk you through the major changes and improvements available in the application since the previous release of version 4.3.0. After starting the application, the first noticeable change is the relocation of the Root button above the Departure button, becoming the first button in the navigation bar. Next on the list is the new Active Button Indicator, providing you with a clear visual indication that a button is active. This indicator will be available for those buttons with submenus in the navigation bar and top bar. Let's proceed to the root menu and its newly introduced view map button, allowing direct access to the en route map. The high en route and low en route buttons seen in the previous Lido eRoute manual version have been merged into a new single button called cycle view, located in the chart title section. Toggling between the high and low en route map is now simplified by tapping on this button. Continuous improvement of the user experience has always been one of our key focuses for each application release. In this Lido eRoute Manual 4.3.1 version, you can now seamlessly zoom on the en route map throughout all zoom levels, which used to be previously limited for zoom level 2 onwards. Opening the Attribute Lookup window via Double Tap is now simplified by long tapping on any location on the en route map. Having seen that, let us proceed further to the Airport Clipboard menu. In this menu, the All Charts button has been renamed to read Add Charts. To enhance user visual recognition of this button, as well as the Remove Airport button, white borders and new icons have been added to them. Let's continue to explore the changes made in the Add Charts screen. Different shades of blue are now used to enhance contrast and facilitate operation in night conditions. A darker blue is used for the top bar and navigation bar, followed by a lighter shade of blue in the display screen and an even lighter shade of blue in the submenu. The filtering and display of chart types during the selection process is now mutually exclusive meaning that only one chart type can be displayed at a time. Selecting one chart type will automatically deselect the previously selected chart type. This makes the previous All Types button obsolete and it has been removed in this version. Next, we have enhanced the synchronization between Add Charts and the Airport's clipboard, which brings significant workflow improvements when performing chart selection. Charts selected in the Add Chart screen will be loaded instantly into the airport's clipboard without the need to select the Accept button. Finally, we have reinstated the Chart Flipping buttons, which allow you to flip from one chart to another according to the order you have prepared in the clipboard menu. We wish you successful operations with the new Lido eRoute Manual version 4.3.1.